Hey everyone and happy Wednesday. It's Leanne from Balanced by Lee at Home Physical Therapy and Wellness. And today I wanted to talk to you about a topic um, that I posted on my feed a few days ago or yesterday. Um, it's called Frailty. And if you haven't seen that um, post that I put on earlier, go ahead and check it out. It's a quick little video sketch of the definition and what frailty looks like. And so today I wanted to give you a little more about what frailty is and how you can prevent it and treat it. It's not something that you hear a lot or um, that maybe is discussed a bunch um, in the medical um, field when you're going to the doctors, but it's definitely real and you probably already have a picture in your mind of someone who is frail um, when you say the word. When I think of it, I kind of just think of someone who is um, weaker and just takes a little longer to do things, um, So, which kind of is what some of the characteristics of frailty is. So there's five um, characteristics of frailty when you are getting diagnosed into this category. So your first thing, like I said, is muscle weakness. You don't have a lot of strength. Um, it takes you... Um, or it's just harder to maybe lift things and do things. Secondly is being having a low uh, physical activity level. You're just not very active. You're not moving as much um, every day. Number three is that you're slow. Maybe your walking speed is a little slower. Kind of think about someone um, walking across the street. It, it takes them a little longer to get from one side of the street to the other. Um, the way they do things and move in the house is just not as quick um, as it used to be when they were younger. And next is being fatigued or having a really poor endurance, right? You just, again, if you lack the strength to do it, you don't have the endurance um, to do it as well. And lastly is if you are losing 10 pounds or more unintentionally in one year, um, that places you into possibly being frail. So I mentioned five things, muscle weakness, being slow, uh, having a poor uh, endurance, let's see, fatigue levels, well, that's poor endurance, sorry, low physical activity levels, and then um, having unintentional weight loss. So to meet frailty, you have to have three out of those five characteristics that places you in that category. So what do you do about it, right? What can you do to reverse it or even prevent it? And that's the beauty of this diagnosis is that it's completely treatable. If you have muscle weakness, we need to start exercising, right? Exercise is gonna take care of your strength. It's gonna take care of your physical activity levels. It's gonna improve your endurance. Um, so getting you on a regular exercise program of not only walking or biking or moving, but also on a strengthening program where you're doing resistive exercises or body weight exercises. But getting you exercising and moving your body regularly is gonna be important. And that's why I started the step challenge for February, which if you wanna be a part of that, comment below, there's still time to do that. But we need you to get moving and get um, working out again so that way you can start treating this or prevent it. The next thing is gonna be your diet. What you're eating and what you're putting into your body is super, super important, right? Are you getting enough protein? Are you drinking enough water? Um, are you eating more whole foods versus processed and sugary foods? All of that is gonna play a huge part in how your body responds to exercise as well. Um, another component to treating and preventing frailty is the mind, the cognitive piece making sure you're regularly, again, engaging in activities that are gonna stimulate your mind and make sure that it's difficult. So maybe that looks like playing board games or card games or learning a new language. Things like that that's gonna get connections um, going in your brain again will help you to treat and prevent frailty. Um, and another important piece, and I know it's a lot harder with COVID, but it still shouldn't be an excuse, is our social engagement piece. There's so much to be said about engaging with another person, whether it's on Zoom or whether it's over the phone or if you meet in person. Um, 
that social engagement piece for an older adult is so important. Um, there's so much that goes on in a conversation that we don't think about. The timing of when you're going to respond to someone, um, watching their facial features and how you're going to respond to that, or realizing and understanding the tone in their voice when you're listening to them. All of that um, takes place in a conversation, and you just don't get that if you're isolated in your home. So that's another huge piece um, to the whole prevention and treatment of frailty. So I hope um, this video was helpful. If you or a loved one um, fall into this category, and maybe you just have one or two, maybe you don't even have the three criteria yet that you need, um, please reach out because it is not too late to reverse it and it's not too late for you to start um, doing some of the steps to get out of frailty. And if you have any questions, as always, comment below. And if you're watching this on the replay, hashtag replay on the bottom. And like I said, it's not too late to join our step challenge. So if that's something you're interested in, comment below and I'd be happy to reach out to you and get you started on your way. Alrighty, if not, have a great Wednesday and the great rest of your week, and we'll catch you guys next week. We'll see you later.